Have you ever been playing Cyberpunk when you suddenly stumble across something so laughably overpowered that you think you might have just bugged the game out? You're just sat there thinking, surely that can't be something the developers did on purpose, right? Did... did the game just crap the bed? Well, today I'm going to show you something in Cyberpunk that literally left my jaw open for a solid minute when I discovered how broken it is. In fact, I had to test it for hours just to be sure I wasn't experiencing some bizarre bug I had never seen before. And sure, I hear everyone out there going, Comrades Hammer, we get it. But actually, that's not what we're talking about today. See, most overpowered builds are for when you want to take a, shall we say, less subtle approach to things. Small problem. Cyberpunk has tons of missions where you're rewarded for being completely unseen. Something you can't exactly do with a standard Comrades Hammer or Shotgun build. So today we're jumping into Night City to show off the most broken mechanic I have ever seen in the game. Especially if you want to be a sneaky ninja. Don't believe me? Well, get comfy on the couch and welcome to the hangout. Let's jump into this, shall we? Alrighty, so to pull this particular one off, we're going to be starting a new game, and the best part about this particular mechanic is none of this matters. So you can play on pretty much any difficulty you feel like. We're going to choose very hard, because why not? Your life path obviously doesn't matter, so sure, Nomad, why not? And even your attributes don't matter, which is awesome, because this means that this can go with almost any other build you want to go for. You want to do a pistol run? Have at it. You want to do shotguns? Feel free. Assault rifles? Go for it. Knock yourself out. Well, don't actually knock yourself out. That would probably not be the best idea, but metaphorically, knock yourself out with this one. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be leaning into the stealthy ninja thing, going with some cool, some reflexes, and um, yeah, let's do some technical ability. Why not? The only thing that we do need to make sure of is that our character has a glorious beard, which he now does, so we're ready to jump in here. Now, when we start off here, we have a couple goals in mind. That is, we're going to want about fifteen to $20,000. Obviously, the more the merrier, but that's going to be sort of a baseline we're shooting for. And we're also going to want 20 street cred. Once we hit that, we are going to want to get our friend Jackie killed. Girl, you look like you've been have, having a bit of a rough day. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe that's not blood. Maybe that's like she had like a really big hot dog and she was just walking up here, slipped on a piece of paper. The hot dog fell and maybe rolled down the street. I don't know. Anyway, once we get the 20 street cred and about 20 grand, we're going to want to get our friend Jackie killed. I know, makes us sound like a bad guy, but that's kind of what we want to fast track here. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Now, being we're a stealthy build, we're going to do all of this grinding a little bit stealthily here. But, little tip for everybody, no matter how you kill somebody, if you grab their body and throw them in a container, you just gained ninjutsu experience. I know, a little strange, right? Like, you could drop a bomb in the middle of a crowd and pick up all the bodies and stuff them in containers, and congratulations, you master of shadows, you just leveled up your stealth. Kind of interesting how that works, but a little tip if you wanted to farm some stealth XP. Now, the problem with stealth here is that enemies, when you grab them and take them down by stealth, one way or the other, however you decide to eliminate your foes in stealth, they're going to have this pesky habit of, well, leaving their dead body behind. And this is kind of annoying, because that means every time that I take someone down, if I don't want the entire camp or all of his friends to notice that, hey, Bob just disappeared from life, if I don't want them to notice that, then I have to hide their dead body in a dumpster or in a you know, locker or in a refrigerator or, you know, pretend their body's like a bunch of groceries and throw it in somebody's trunk. Like, one way or the other, you gotta get rid of that body. I don't care if you shoot them in the head, I don't care if you grab them and, you know, break their neck. Whatever you do, from stealth, you have to take care of their body. However, what we're going to be doing today is going to take care of that particular problem. You know, the pesky problem of enemy remains. <laughs> YouTube, please don't, please don't age restrict this. I've literally, I, I downloaded a mod to clean up all the advertisements so that you don't age restrict this video. Please, I beg of you. All right, so it's been a little bit of time. We got our friend Jackie killed, and uh, that was, you know, just as pleasant as it always is. But as you can see, we are now level 16. We got 22 street cred, and we have $18,000, euro dollars, whatever. So that means we're going to come over to our boy Vic. Or really, there's several other Ripper docs you can do this with. In fact, if you don't want to pay off your 20 grand debt, maybe don't go to Vic. But anyway, since I've already paid him off, we're going to come over to him. And we're going to buy the most important thing in the game. And that would be under the arms section. You're going to come in here, and this is something that is completely broken. It is the projectile launch 
system. Now, it usually shoots whatever kind of round you put in it, and it explodes. That's okay, it's kind of like, you know, a little arm rocket launcher. But it's so much better than that. So we're gonna buy it, we're gonna equip it, and then we're going to say, thank you, Vic, I am now basically a deity. Now, here's the most important step. You see, this launcher thing, it's not terrible, I guess. I mean, you can pull it out and you can shoot a little bit of an explosion at people, but it really doesn't scale that well. It's not all that powerful. However, what you're going to want to do is come over here to Haywood, come over to Wellsprings, and there's a Ripper Dock here in Wellsprings. I don't know if this is available at other Ripper Docks. I've checked a few and they didn't have it, so you might find it elsewhere, but this guy seems to consistently have it. And you're going to want to not do cyber where you're gonna come to trade and he's gonna have the tranquilizer round and if you don't know to equip it all you have to do is go to your cyberware go to arms and then click that on in and that will replace the explosive round now this is going to be kind of completely broken and I want to show you what I mean all right so I bring you over to the gig where I discover just how powerful this projectile launcher is that would be the gig Serial Suicide. That's over here if you want to know. It's in Corpo Plaza in City Center. Anyway, if you don't know, City Center is roughly level 30 to 45-ish as far as the enemy level scaling. We are level 16. What that means is that currently I'm kind of pathetic. Those two little workers over there guarding the manhole for God knows why are red skulls to me. Not to mention the big heavy assault guy in here. So if I were to try to just take them straight up, this is kind of the experience we're going to get from the whole situation. We're, uh, we're not gonna make it very long, let's put it that way. Now you might say, well, you could just stealth kill them, but if you know anything about cyberpunk stealth mechanics, you know that if they have a red skull on them, you're not going to be able to hurt them from stealth. Whatever could we possibly do about this situation? If I wanna take these guys down, do I just need to spend a lot of time leveling? Well, let me introduce you to the projectile launch system. As you can see, we have two friends here working on this great manhole cover. And let's say I want to take aim and hope that this dart hits, because by the way, fair warning, this is going to be hor horribly inaccurate. Oh, it seems that I've missed. And what you might have noticed is that there was a large explosion that just took place, but nobody seems to be bothered by that. What's going on? Well, let's try again. Okay, so we hit that time, and as you can see, this man just collapsed, got back up, and collapsed again. It's like he's having repeat heart attacks, um, <laughs> weirdly enough. But here's what might stand out to you, is that we just downed his friend, and Mr. Riot Gear doesn't seem to be bothered by that at all. He doesn't give the slightest crap about the situation. Don't know, don't care. How's that? Well, that's kind of odd, isn't it? In fact, we could just, uh... Do the same thing to him. And as you can see, we're doing like one damage, but we're doing one damage and knocking everyone out. That's a little bit odd. Let's see if we can go third time's a charm. And indeed we can. So this is a little bit weird. We just shot somebody with an explosive dart and his friend watching didn't give the slightest darn. What's going on? Not only that, but this guy in here, say we miss him on purpose and we send an explosion to four inches above his head, he doesn't seem to care. We can sit here all day, because this is going to be horribly inaccurate, that's going to be the biggest struggle here, and just keep shooting until we actually hit somebody. Now, if you're like me at this point, you're going, this has to be a bug, right? And that's what I thought too. And to be fair, maybe it is? I don't know. But all I know is that I can one-hit enemies that are double my level, that I don't have a prayer fighting. I can one-hit them in front of their friends, and they won't care. I can then take all their gear, I can do whatever I want with them, because I have the projectile launch system. We head downstairs, and there's another guy who we once again just easily one-shot because we're just that powerful. And this quest even does something a little bit tricky that when you come back up here, guess who's going to be standing? Oh, <laughs> well, they didn't do it this time. Never mind. You are fake news. Oh, dude, he killed the guy. I didn't know that was an option. Ugh. That's a little weird. Oh, hi. He just, uh... apparently these darts uh, like to take people's bodies and gently set them down in seats, too. <laughs> Whatever. But as you can see, we're in an area that's a level, it's double our level. And yet, we just took everyone out. Now, if you really want to be that kind of a guy, you can go over and you can still kill these people. 
Like, it's not going to be difficult. Now, you might be sitting there going, wow, that's really stupid that that's in the game, but why do you say that's the most powerful thing in the game? I mean, after all, we have really powerful shotgun builds. We have the Comrade's Hammer build. We have even your DR-12... I missed him. Son of a biscuit. We have even your DR-12 Quasar build, which is up on the channel for those who... YouTube blesses with the ability to be able to see it because apparently when some people play this game, it's age restricted. Anyway, I'm not getting into that. But why would I say this is the most overpowered thing in the game? Well, let me show you where we are. We are currently in Santo Domingo, which the quest we're doing right now is Danger High. In fact, some of the stuff we've already been doing is clearing out the gigs over in this area, which is even higher level, as you can see, Danger very high. And some of the NCPD scanners that I've cleared over there. All of the quests on this map are basically doable now at my level, no matter what level it says of danger. As long as it's not a Cyber Psycho, because for some reason this only does one damage to Cyber Psychos, and it's not a boss or a robot, then we can pretty much clear any mission we want. There are a couple that are bugged with this thing, by the way. Like this gig down here for some reason. Uh, well, again, I don't know what's a bug and what's a feature at this point, but as far as how it normally works, this mission is bugged. The Arasaka Warehouse is bugged for me for some reason. There's a few places where you're going to have issues, and it may not work exactly how it, it's working in the vast majority of the game. But outside of those few things, we can complete quests we are extremely underleveled for. And this is why I say it has the edge even over the very well-known Comrade's Hammer. Because we are in Santo Domingo, and we're still very underleveled. At level 20, we still wouldn't be able to do the quests over here generally, which, guess what? This is where you get the crafting recipe for Comrade's Hammer. In other words, the advantage that this build has is that once you get to 20 street cred and $20,000, you can do this. And you can do it with any build you want, so long as you have your arm slot available. If you're wondering, as long as you learn not to aim center mass, you learn, you know, that it's going bottom left, you can pretty much snipe anything from across the map. But you can do this at an extraordinarily low level. You can do this stealthing because that guy doesn't even care that his friend just exploded. He's just like, ah, that's Jeff. He had beans. I, it makes sense. I heard an explosion behind me. I told Jeff not to do that, but you know Jeff. I don't know what it is with me and fart jokes for Cyberpunk, but here we are. But in this mission, we'd be having a very tough go of it were it not for this one little mechanic. We can clear all of it long before we'd have an overpowered Quasar build, or overpowered Comrade's Hammer, or overpowered any number of other builds. And again, this is all in stealth. In fact, the most broken stealth. So yes, even with the limitations of this arm, I would say it's still more broken because right out of the gate, you can drop level 40 enemies. And just to highlight exactly one more advantage this has over all those other builds, I brought you over here to meet Ted Fox. Ted Fox is a quest that you get, again, in the Santo Domingo area. This quest is breaking news. As you can see, danger still very high, even at our current level. So we're not even close to being able to do this. As you can see in the right-hand side here, we have a bonus option to remain undetected. So, if you want to go in here and start capping everybody with Comrade's Hammer, or with the Quasar, or a Shotgun, or anything like that, good luck getting the bonus objective. But, with this arm, it becomes a little bit more doable. Yeah. Just, just a smidge. Just, just a little bit more doable to remain undetected as you do this quest. And as long as you mix it, I like to mix it with a hacker build because you can take out cameras, which obviously there's other ways to deal with cameras, but you know, just how I prefer to deal with them. But you mix this with a hacker build and suddenly you're pretty much unstoppable in these missions. And the great thing is, as you might see, these guys are all skulls, which means we can't stealth this mission normally because these guys wouldn't even hold if we grabbed them. They would be able to overpower us. So we can stealth these missions and get the bonuses, all being extraordinarily underleveled. And by the way, this means you also get all the loot if you want to. That person, I did that, was that a DR? Hang on, I gotta check. Was that a DR-12 Quasar? Man, that would be so thematic. Yes, indeed, we got some DR-12 Quasars off them. That's awesome. But all of this, you would be miles away from being able to complete, especially getting your bonus, if it weren't for the projectile launch system. So yes, <laughs> don't see me. Ah, we're still undetected. Oh, yeah. I just didn't feel like I couldn't be bothered hacking that camera. That's all that was. What is going on with my butt? You spawned my bike in the... You spawned my bike inside a truck? Are you kidding me? Ah, this game isn't broken at all. 
<laughs> yeah, CD Projekt Red, remember, they're very proud of the condition the game is in now. Why are you the way that you are? Let's just go get our bonus. We're able to do any of the gigs on the map now, except for the ones that are bugged out. We're able to take down pretty much anybody, especially mixing this with a hacker build. And if you want to go for your favorite build, like Comrade's Hammer, or like the Quasar, or some shotgun build, or anything like that, all of that can be done with this, but this will help make it a whole lot easier. So yes, this, as far as I have seen in the game, is just the most broken thing out there. But Havoc, you say? I actually want to do that loud and proud, guns blazing approach this time. What do you have for me? Well, if the YouTube gods favor you with being able to see it, this is a video where I show you the loudest and proudest part of the entire game. The Don't Fear the Reaper ending, or secret ending. That said, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And don't forget the Hangout Discord server linked in the description below. I'll catch you for the next hangout, everybody. Have a great day, and goodbye.